Legalization is coming. Why do you still protest? Why are you still protesting? Why won't you just shut up and wait? It's gonna be legal. It's gonna be legal. My answer to that is we've been told that before. And also that the only reason marijuana will be legal is because of these protests, because of these activists, because of these brave individuals who have chosen to use civil disobedience to break an unjust law and demonstrate the injustice of that law. Why do we protest? Because every day Canadians and people around the world are arrested and hunted down and persecuted and discriminated against. Every single day families are torn apart by marijuana prohibition law enforcement. Every single day police officers are breaking down doors across North America, shooting family pets, terrorizing children, ripping families and communities apart, enforcing a law that we all know is unjust. It is wrong to arrest people for a peaceful activity that causes no harm. It is wrong to arrest people who are harmless and peaceful and just want to be left alone. Why do we protest? Because today there are people sitting in prison for cannabis and they can't be out enjoying this sunny day. They aren't out celebrating Canada Day. They're sitting in a prison cell, being fed prison food, being treated like second-class citizens because they enjoy cannabis. Cannabis is not just a wonderful relaxant that's better than alcohol and so many other dangerous substances people use every day. Cannabis is safer than sugar. Cannabis is safer than the sun. Cannabis is one of the safest things on this earth. Not only is it safe, but it saves lives as well. I just shared a study that just came out showing that cannabis does indeed prevent Alzheimer's disease. Cannabis can save lives. Cannabis can prevent the dementia epidemic that is coming our way and will cost our healthcare system amounts we cannot and will not afford. Cannabis will help young people and adults who have epilepsy stop their seizures, to be free from their pain and their suffering, to be free just to live a little better. Cannabis is saving people's lives. Why do we protest? because people don't have the access they deserve. People are sitting in jail, people are being arrested all across this country, it happens every day. Don't let anyone tell you no one gets arrested for pot anymore. Because they do, for small amounts. And that criminal record will haunt them. They won't be able to travel, they won't be able to get jobs, they won't be able to do so much to contribute back to society, they become second-class citizens. Marijuana prohibition makes second-class citizens of all those who enjoy cannabis. And this government keeps telling you, stop complaining, stop selling, stop all the stuff you're doing. We're going to legalize it. Come back later. I don't trust the government. Nobody trusts the government. Because they've always lied, they've always lied. They've lied about marijuana, they lied about how it's harmful, they're lying about it today. They're saying they're going to legalize to protect us from the harms. They say they're going to legalize to restrict access. These are their talking points. They want to limit access to marijuana. They want to continue the arrest. And they have promised to introduce even harsher laws and punishment for people who grow outside their regulated system. No! That system is unconstitutional. That system has led to a group of lobbyists petitioning the government to have all the dispensaries shut down and all of the growers forced underground so they can try and make money selling pot to a captive market and to try and make money on the stock market. That's not what cannabis is about. And they wonder why they're failing. Because they don't have the heart they don't have the spirit. They're abusing cannabis and misusing it. And sure, there are patients who are getting licensed producer cannabis, and it's the only option for them. But that's only because that's what the government says it has to be. 
Those people would rather be free to choose to grow it themselves or get an option at a store or why not even just being quiet about your illness and just going and getting it not having to get a doctor's permission. What about preventing Alzheimer's disease? Is the doctor going to let me get cannabis so I can prevent Alzheimer's disease? No, but I want to do that. I should be free to do that. Canadians and citizens being arrested for cannabis are being persecuted and hunted down using tax dollars to do so to deprive us of our freedom of choice, to deprive us of our medicine, to deprive us of our health and our happiness. The Liberal government of Canada is not going to legalize marijuana the way that we pushed and campaigned for it to be done. I refuse to let the Liberal government and their cronies steal the marijuana industry away from the people who grew it and made it what it is today. The Liberal government is wrong to try and imprison and arrest people for doing what was necessary to make legalization possible. How dare the Liberal government call us all criminals and say we don't care about our communities and that we're only in this for profit and that we're all bad people. How dare they when we have been arrested and beaten down, our homes and property stolen with no recourse in the courts. How dare they tell the people who went to prison and protested and fought and ran for office and spoke to media and marched in the streets and did so much to make it legal. How dare they tell us we're not welcome in the new legalization system. How dare they tell us that prohibitionists like police and mental health addictions experts be the ones to make legalization. How can they tell us that those who oppressed us will free us from that oppression? I don't trust them. I don't yeah. trust the liberal yeah. government. But they say they'll listen to the people and we live in some kind of sham of a democracy of sorts where our government pretends to listen to us but they find a way to profit from it and continue their oppression. That's what they're aiming for and we have one year until legalization legislation is introduced and you have to give it to the Liberals for introducing legalization but you gotta actually give it to the people and the members and the activists who forced the Liberal Party to support legalization. We forced Trudeau to finally say legalize it. Trudeau's own late brother was arrested for pot. Trudeau used to say we need to stop those pot possession arrests but today He's allowing his government to continue. Every nine minutes, a Canadian encounters a cop for pot. Every year in this province, $10.5 million goes towards pot possession cases. That's just possession. How many people here need a doctor? I sure do. Where's our tax money going? Well, now you know. It's going to police budgets. The police in Vancouver eat up 20% of all the tax money. 20% of our city budget goes to the police. It's to enforce laws against the minorities and the young and the poor and that's a fact. John Conroy, the lawyer who has helped change laws in this country, said earlier today that that's a fact. 20% of all the arrests are young people 15 to 19. How can those young people trust a government that wants to make them a second class citizen and deprive them of their ability to live a normal life? How dare the Liberals take our support and turn around and not just spit in our face but throw handcuffs on you too? How dare they continue prohibition and call it legalization? Trudeau is maintaining the status quo but we still have a job to do. Really, nothing's changed. Really, we all have the same work to do. We still have to protest, we still have to gather, we still have to educate, we still have to talk to media, we still have to run for office and vote and do all the stuff that got us to this point today. Because without our work and without our activism, we will lose control of this and we will all continue to suffer. And that's why we must protest. That's why we protest. Because marijuana is not legal yet. People are still being arrested today and we do not have the access we deserve and require. And until all the arrests stop and everybody has access, it's not fully legal and our work is not done. Mark Emery's not here today because he's in Toronto where the police raided dispensaries, including our own recreational cannabis shop, 
on Queen Street West, the first openly recreational shop in Canada. Cannabis culture also raided, Mark flew out that night and reopened. Because we believe that what we're doing is right. We yeah. know that what we're doing takes courage. And we know the police and the government would love to silence us all. And they will use force and they will use raids and they'll use bylaws and they'll use discriminatory commentary calling us all dangerous threats to society. But we know that's not true. We know that we're right. We know that we will not stop. No matter if they put us in prison cells like Mark Emery, he will come home, keep fighting. Everybody in prison today will someday go home, I hope, and they too will join us out here. Because today we're free. Today we're free to protest. We're free to educate. And we have an obligation to all those who are not free to do everything we can within our power to win that freedom we all deserve. That's a Canada I want, and that's why Canada Day will be Cannabis Day until we don't need to protest and we can just be free. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being here, supporting what we do, supporting our vision and our mission for freedom.